So what is it we want to do? Today, um, I would like you to help me um, set up a booking system for the four classrooms. We're just going to set up appointments using different calendars on Google Calendar. Yeah. All right. There's a new update actually, which is scheduled appointments. We can't use that because that only uses one calendar, your default calendar. Right. We want to create four different calendars for the four different rooms. Yeah. Correct. So what we'll do then is we'll just jump down to the left hand side and just click on calendars. And then from here, what we can do is we can create a new one. Okay. So we'll create the four calendars with the same naming convention. So we just say SSS for student support services and then main hall. 1F32, 33 and 34. So let's start right. the, same, the first one as um, SSS. And so with the description, we could, it's a good point here to actually write in the description the space, the resources that are available within that room, yeah? So yeah. if they're gonna book the main hall, how, much, how many people can it accommodate? How many students can it accommodate? Uh, well, probably max around 20. 20, 22? Yeah. So we just say students, 22, or max accommodation, um, what resource do we have? So we have projector, we say yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. So what to do, they'll copy this. So we we'll copy and paste that in the next calendar that, that we right, make. Yeah. yeah. Create calendar. Create calendar. Because we need to make three more rooms. Three more, so, so now we, we choose. SSS we're... booking, 32. Yeah, one F, 32. All right, let's just create that and then we'll go on to okay. the next one. So what we'll do now is we'll come out of settings. So just press on the back arrow. And then uh, along the side here, we'll nicely have, if we scroll down, we'll have all of the SSS yes. together. All right. Now, if you like, if you fancy, these two are the same color, we can change the color by clicking on the three dots and just changing that color so it's like, it doesn't clash with the other one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do now, is if you jump onto the first one, press on the three dots and say, just display this one only. So display only this calendar. So it's empty, obviously, because right, we just yeah. created it. School timetable is in slots of 40, yeah. but then our breaks are 30. We can't just drag and create. No. Yeah, we're going to have to do individual slots. So, yeah, it's going to have to be uh, periods. Yeah, periods. So what we'll do is we'll create our first period from 7.55 to 10.40, yeah? Yeah. Because we want to make sure, go to settings again, and we just want to make sure that you don't have appointment schedules. Go down to the appointment schedules. Okay, so this is brilliant. This is a new update, it's called Appointment Schedules. For this tutorial, you wanna turn it off. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have it on, because what, we, what we're gonna do is do appointment slots, and there's a reason for it. So that's good, that's not on. Let's just go back okay. now. So what we'll do, now that we've established that we've got calendar slots, yeah? Yeah. Let's just, um, let's just start from Sunday, anywhere on Sunday, okay. So now, we'd call it Booking 1F32. Is, is, is that the... That's going to be the title. That's going to be under that calendar, yeah. 32. Perfect. And then we'll do this as appointment slots. Okay, so the first appointment slot is going to be from 7.55. Yeah. So you don't need to drag from there. Just type in a 7.55 and then AM. All right, okay. Yeah, so 7.55. Yeah, AM to... And then to 10.40. Yeah, and then press enter. All right, okay. Okay. And then we want the duration to be 40 minute slots because our periods are 40 minutes, yeah? Right. So we, we can go and do 40 minutes slots. And just check that the calendar is the correct calendar. Yeah, perfect, it corresponds to the right, title. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and press save. Right, so that's created, that's created a slot now with a little calendar. So if you click on this. Yeah. If you click on that. If you go to the appointment page, this is what everyone yeah. will see. This is the same as the Here we go. parent please. teacher conferences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, it's right. just that. But here's what we're gonna do, a slightly bit different to make this bespoke. If we come out of this now, go back to the calendar. Okay, and we'll click on the edit button. Edit. And what we'll do is we'll make it a repeating event. So let's go ahead and repeat yes. this. Okay, so daily. Uh, all right. Oh, we'll do custom. We'll go and do custom because obviously the weekends are different as well. Ah, so now we can. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, up to Thursday. Oh, and so we'll, we'll say this is weekly repeating once. So it's every week just going to repeat. Right, well, that's. Yeah, so what you might want to do uh, is you might want it to end at the end of. Of, of, of the of year, like, you know, 18th of June, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. 15th June, 18th June. Yeah, that's 15th of June. Right. Done. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right, and then press on save again. So that's perfect. That's created ah. that first slot, yeah, under right. that calendar. And next week, oh, yes, it's It's created right. it for the whole year now. So, yeah. so now we create... No, now what we do is we duplicate that event for the next session after break. Because what happens is we right. can't continue these 40-minute sessions because... The breaks, yeah, yeah, yeah the break. it, it messes up because it's a 30 minute slot. So what we'll do is 
click on one of them and then get, click on the three dots and let's duplicate this. And now we'll change the time. So our second ah, okay. slot is going to be 11.15. Yeah, right, so just yeah. type in 11.15 a.m. And to uh, 12.35. And then that's it. You just press on save. So that's duplicated for the, for the next slot. Right. And then, and then we'll have... duplicate this again for the last slot of the day. Right, so then we go to the three dots, duplicate. And then, so we put 110. One, yeah, perfect, 110. Right, Perfect. Right, so what that does is because we duplicated the event, it keeps it within the same booking yeah. calendar. So when you when you click on so if, if you click on one of them now. So if I click on here in the afternoon. Yeah, if you click on the yeah, schedule, it will I'll show see. up all of the slots. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it shows up all the slots for your calendar, which is brilliant. Yeah, right, you can yeah. pretty much end this video now and you're done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate those events for the next, next. classes that we're going to book as resources, yeah? So bookable spaces. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll click on the first one on Sunday yeah. and duplicate it. So three dots and duplicate. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change the title and we're going to change the calendar. So let's yeah. say this is 33. 33 and... Change it for the calendar 33, yeah. Yes, Perfect. and then save. Yeah, that's it. And then do the same thing for this one and this one. Right. Okay. Right. So that, yeah. So what you do then you do the same thing for thirty four yeah. and for the main hall. Yeah. yeah? Here's the thing. Um, let's say let's assume that we've done that now. Yeah. All you're gonna do now is then click on it, get the link to the URL. Yeah. And then we'll share that in the staff memo, the daily communications, so people can click on it. Yeah. You guys, because you're in charge of that space anyway, all of these spaces, you guys are predominantly using them to fulfill your requirements. Like, for example, say now uh, that room at, at 1F34 is, is being used yeah. always on, on the Wednesdays that time. So I would go to Wednesday and I, I could just by booking it, so at this time. What it does, it books that single slot for you. Yeah. So what you want to do, if you know that you've got certain spaces booked already indefinitely, then you want to take them off of your appointment schedule. Rather than book them each time, we need to take them you off. You need to take them off so no one can book them. Right. Yeah. So we'll have to go back and amend yeah. the, the calendar. Whatever time's available, make that available. And what's not available would be an exception.